So my focus on uh, electric mobility is from a net zero uh, and decarbonisation perspective. Um, so the electrification of road transport in particular uh, is essential to reduce carbon emissions, which of course are causing global warming, um, and to meet the objectives of net zero by 2050. Um, so that really brings my interest into e-mobility uh, and to EVIS is how can the road sector decarbonise as quickly as possible uh, and that really means electrification and the other technologies we're talking about here. Um, I think EVIS is essential because it brings all players in the supply chain together whether it's the electric vehicles themselves, the charging infrastructure, uh, the business advisors, the support services, everyone basically in the same place so we can have uh, joined up discussions uh, about the kind of solutions that we need to move forward um, so that we have the right charging for the right vehicles linked to the decarbonisation of the energy supply uh, and everything works as efficiently and as smoothly as possible over the next few years. So the particular issue I was addressing um, at the conference uh, this week uh, was two things. One was innovation uh, and I was very happy to be a judge uh, on the startup uh, awards and the student awards which will be presented later. Uh, and secondly, um, I was moderating a panel uh, which was called Everything But Cars. So whilst the focus has been on cars and light vehicles and how they can be converted to electric, um, there are buses, there are trucks, there are motorbikes and scooters. So there are other vehicle types, other types of mobility, which also need to be electrified if we to get to net zero. Uh, often those things are given less attention. Uh, it's great to see that EVIS are actually looking at that and providing a more kind of holistic and integrated approach. From my perspective, I get to talk to everyone involved in the e-mobility supply chain. So I get to talk to government officials uh, uh, who will be the regulators and the planners. I get to talk to the suppliers of the technology and I get to talk to people who are looking at the business models, uh, the regulatory frameworks, all of the enabling actions that will be essential to move forward. So everyone is really, everyone who needs to be involved is here under the same roof.